Hey guys, it's Cecilia, and so I'm just making a quick video. I just kind of wanted to share um, some good news today that um, I went ahead and took my tattoo exam to become a licensed tattooist in Virginia. Um, and um, I was so nervous to take it. Um, it's taken me a while to even get to this point, um, just to kind of backtrack or give you like a little time frame. Um, I became first interested in, I guess, becoming a tattoo artist. It wasn't until like 2008 when I had lived in Colorado. And um, at the time, I was actually, you know, wanting to study fashion. I used to be a fashion design major, and then I wanted interior design. I kind of bounced around different mediums and different um, majors. I never really finished any of them. I just kept kind of switching around. Um, but it wasn't until somebody asked me in 2008 to uh, draw a tattoo design for them um, in honor of their, their son. So I remember it. It was basically like a nautical star with flames um, going across it. And so I drew it up. She loved it. And, um, and I think that really kind of started my, my journey of it. And even though I was in art school at the time um, in Denver, um, I started really drawing more... Um, tattoo designs and looking back like they were so shitty <laughs> I still have them somewhere around but like I tried to do stars and roses and and looking how much I've progressed over the years it's just really amazing to see but um, I moved back here in 2010 and I was actually offered an apprenticeship at a shop here um, and at the time I wasn't ready I was really kind of intimidated by it um, even though there was females in the shop there was you know the girl you know, that was the artist, she was a female, and there was already a female apprentice. So it wasn't that I was scared because it was male-dominated. It's just I think I wasn't ready to um, pursue that. And, you know, as an apprentice, you basically are working for free um, anywhere from, you know, two years or more. And I just wasn't ready for that, and I couldn't afford it yet. So I ended up going to hair school just to have a trade and be able to kind of make my own money. Um, cause due to other reasons, like, you know, I can't get a normal job and actually, frankly, I don't want a normal job. You know, I want to be able to express myself, um, artistically and with tattoos or whatever color hair I want. I just want to be free to be myself. And so, um, I felt a little bit more freedom in the, uh, cosmetology world. And my time frame is kind of funny that, um, so when I got to, to hair school, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It opened up a world to freelancing, and it actually got me into face and body painting, which really led to some amazing uh, job opportunities. And I made I make pretty decent living off of doing that. Um, and you know, even though I've worked in salons, I've partly I've owned a salon for a little bit, and it's really hard work. But um, yeah, after a while, I just I wasn't happy in the salon, uh, not only because of drama. But just the fact that I just wasn't happy, you know, doing people's hair is fine. Um, it just didn't make me feel, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. But, you know, when I started tattooing, um, even myself and on practice skin, I did do out of my um, house. Well, not this house, but years ago I did it. Um, and not for a profit or anything, just to learn. And it was people that knew I was an apprentice or not an apprentice, but I wasn't trained. And so... People let me practice on them, but I stopped about a few years ago so I can seriously pursue it. Um, and uh, so I'm going to say this, that um, a few years ago I stopped and then due to some other reasons, um, it was, re well, it was really hard for me to get an apprentice, uh, apprenticeship. And the few times I actually um, was kind of offered one and kind of started one. Um, in my situation, I've had some of the artists just, you know, and they're male artists and, and this happens a lot, but they basically just tried to hit on me and just tried to basically get with me or get in my pants. And I didn't feel comfortable with that. That's not how I want to learn the skill. It's not very professional. And I didn't want to work with somebody that basically sees me as that and not as the artist I can be. Um, <clears throat> so I was looking for somebody more professional and I knew you know, I'm an artist, I can draw and I can do very, you know, I consider myself a decent artist. I know there's always room for improvement. So um, after a while, you know, it was, it was getting super hard. I couldn't get an apprenticeship. And so, um, you know, I'm also, I'm a veteran. So I actually applied for Vogue Rehab 
uh, if you're a veteran, you understand what that means, basically. Because um, I have PTSD, so I collect a small disability from the Army. And I told them, you know, due to some other reasons, like, I can't get a normal job. And so they basically helped fund me to go to a place where they offer tattoo training. Um, I do plan on making a video of my experience at a tattoo school. Um, basically because I'm on both sides now. Like I've done, I've done the tattoo school and I will do this because I will give my review on what the tattoo school was. Um, but I could definitely say, um, I definitely love the apprenticeship more. Um, so basically the, uh, I kind of want to make a separate video for this. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a separate re uh, video why I chose to go to tattoo school and why I'm, um, an apprentice now but basically um, so look forward to that video and so I basically just wanted to share um, my happy news that I got my license and I'm not tattooing right now because I'm not at that point yet but um, I just feel and, and I'll explain this later in another video but I feel more accomplished um, even though my training at a school didn't, um, I thought I heard somebody. I always feel weird making videos because like, I'm just talking to myself <laughs> and then I get self-conscious. <laughs> um, so anyway, I totally lost my train of thought. What was I even saying? Oh my God. I forgot it's gone <sighs> okay so I remember <laughs> um, so even though basically I went ahead and tested to get my license I already had the required hours needed for a tattoo school to you know because the way it works in Virginia you can either do an approved um, tattoo school for 750 hours or you do an apprenticeship with 1500 hours um, which is the same as cosmetology it's uh, 1500 um, and I hear this a lot and, and the, I feel like I, I don't want to make a video like that right now so I'm gonna end this video and I just wanted to say yay I got my license and um, I just wanted to share that news um, so again, I'm not tattooing right now. I just have the license and um, yeah, so I'm excited to see where it goes. And uh, stay tuned, I'll make a video on my experience at tattoo school and my experience as an apprentice so far and why I think, um, you know, it's, I think it's better to definitely do a tattoo apprenticeship uh, if you can get your foot in the door that way. But. Uh, thanks for watching and if you like um, please like this video or subscribe for more or if you want to see something else um, please let me know all right thanks guys have a good day